Hey, the Manhaya, chapter 8 in the quadratic functions, exercise 8k, the mixed questions at the end. Question 2, there are three graphs and you have to find their equations. They're all quadratics to be expressed in the standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c. Well, that one there. I can see the zeros so I can reconstruct its factors. So I'll put it in the factors of the roots form. So one of them must be an x plus 1 to generate a negative 1. One of them must be an x minus 5 to generate a 5. And there might have been some common factor that was taken out to begin with. I need some other piece of information to find k. There's an independent point. I've got the point 0, 15, which means that 15 must be equal to k times. And if x is 0, I'm just left with 1 in that bracket and negative 5 in that bracket. Negative 5k is 15, in which case k is going to be negative Three. So the equation is y equals negative 3 times x plus 1, x minus 5, requiring multiplying out now. So negative 3 times x squared minus 5 plus 1 minus 4x, multiplying negative 5. So finally, negative 3x squared plus 12x and then minus, sorry, plus 15. And just checking that all of these features are confirmed in this graph in case there's a mistake with signs. It should be upside down with a negative coefficient, and it is. It should cut the y-axis at 15, and it does. And these signs being opposite means it should pass to the right. The axis sum should be on the right, and it is. Okay, that was A. Now B. Now in B, I can't put down the factorised form because it doesn't have any real roots. There are no zeros to the graph. So I'll have to use that other form for a quadratic, which is the completed squared form. Because I know the turning point's at negative 210. So that should be in the form of k times x minus 2 squared plus 10. Then, to find that k, I've got the independent point 0, 18. So I'll put that into it. That means 18 is equal to k times, and that'll just be negative 2 squared plus 10. So that says 4k for this part, to the 10 over, equals 8, which means k equals 2. So the equation should be y equals 2 times x minus 2 squared plus 10, but it doesn't want it in that completed squared form, it wants it in the standard form, so I'll need to multiply this lot out. So I've got 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 10, so y is going to be 2x squared, Minus 8x plus 8 plus 10 plus 18. There. That'd be the second one. And then part C. Now this time, when I write down the form of it, I can either consider this as the factorised form because I know the zeros and it's a repeated zero, so it's going to be a repeated factor. So when I write this down, I'm going to say I've got x minus 5 times x minus 5, which is x minus 5 squared, and there could have been a multiple. Or at the same time, I could consider that to be in the completed squared form, because if I was writing it down with that as the turning point, I'd have written x minus 5 squared plus 0, since the height of that point is 0, and then times k. So both of these parts measure, merge together into this form in part c, the standard form and the completed squared form. Right, I need an independent point. There it is. Negative 0, negative 50. That means negative 50 is k times, and if that's 0, negative 5 squared. Well, that's 25. Divide that in, and you get k equals negative 2. So the equation is going to be y equals negative 2 times x minus 5 squared. Negative 2 times x squared minus 10x plus 25. So finally, y equals negative 2x squared plus 20x minus 50. Once again, I'll just check the signs of these terms against the graph. It's a negative x squared term, so it should be upside down. It's got a negative 50 for the independent constant, and it cuts the x at negative 50. The signs are opposite for the x terms, which means it should pass to the right, and the axis is in the right. So that's question two.